Hello YouTube, it's uh, Jay Swags from Team Swaggernators. I'm going to show you my light beat deck variant. Uh, there's 17 monsters, 13 monsters, excuse me, and 27 magic or traps. Uh, when I show you the monster lineup, it'll be missing two, which is uh, the other two are my tech, and I'll explain why I chose them and how they help you out. So here we go. Um, first of all, three... Uh, elemental hero ne Neos aliases. Baby Neos. Baby Neos. Three Thunder King Ryos. Two Cyber Dragons. Double Honest. And Stratos. And that's to seek out the, uh, the other baby aliases in the deck. Uh, now for my magic lineup. I have uh, three dualities, really speeds the deck up, uh, and just because you have a duality in your hand doesn't mean you need to play it, but it just allows you to seek out what you need at the time. Uh, three books, really defensive because you only have 13 monsters, so you need to try to protect them at all times. Uh, triple Gemini Spark, obviously if you're summoning... An alias, and they try to bottomless. You want to you want to counter with it with the Gemini Spark, so you can plus. Uh, yeah. Double smashing. I just like smashing. It's a boss. <laughs> uh, recently edited this. This was one e call and then an MST. But running thirteen monsters, you really need to go out and find them because twenty seven magic and trap is is really top heavy. Well, really heavy. Um, a Rota, self-explanatory. Uh, Monster Reborn, just a banging card. And, of course, Dark Hole. Um, skill Drain, I just like it. Personal tech choice. Um, you might not want to run it, especially after you see my tech, but uh, like I'm saying, it's a good card, especially affect monsters running wild. Royal Oppression, only thing that you have in this deck uh, before you edit anything out from your extra deck or your side deck is a uh, normal summon so you don't really have to worry about royal oppression hurting you except for the monster reborn mirror force I'm a DP rider I just love DP that's a personal preference heroes blast this is part of what the deck revolves around especially when it comes to summoning uh, Let's say you're trying to summon an alias and they attempt to bottomless. You could chain Gemini Spark, and then if they have something that's uh, lower than 1900 attack, you could also chain Heroes Blast and neg them again. So it's just burning through their resources and and protecting yourself and cycling your aliases. This automatically gets the alias back to your hand. Double bottomless, um, and triple solemn warning. Uh, <clears throat> It may seem like a lot, but like I was saying earlier, you really need to protect everything that you have on the field. And this deck is designed to stay in control at all times. Um, so on to my tech. <laughs> oh man, it's going to make you guys laugh. It's, it's funny when I play in the <laughs> tournaments now, everybody laughs. But Watt Giraffe, great card. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, Watt Giraffe makes them burn a solemn warning which you want them to do so they don't solemn your aliases. Uh, the reason Watt is so great in this deck is, uh, for one, he's a light creature. Um, so when people try to swing on him, you can, you can honest pump him, for one. Uh, the other thing is that, that Watt sets you up for is uh, it kills when it... Well, for one, it, it swings directly. So you swing directly, and if the attack's successful, then they can't activate traps, and it negates all effects on field. Uh, for example, in today's meta, uh, Rikos, Dandies, Searchers, uh, Searchers, yeah, um, Dark Soul. Uh, the other thing about this card is if the attack goes through and there's a star bus, a Stardust on board, you could, for example, smash and ground it. There's just so many different combos that you can you can use with Watt Giraffe. Uh, he's a he's a game breaker, <laughs> basically. He's just something else they have to worry about. <clears throat> My extra deck, uh, one Chimera, Magical Android, Brionic, Brionic, excuse me, Goyo, Black Rose, Colossal, 
Red Dragon, Double Stardust. Um, I like App Zero, <clears throat> uh, and I'll explain that why later. App Zero is a good choice, uh, especially in mirror matches or, um, in my personal opinion, Six Sam's, uh, Gaia, and of course, since we're running Cybers, uh, we want to run Chimera Tech Fortresses. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, excuse me. So with that being said, uh, this is my extra deck I'm about to show you all. Uh, App Zero and Guy is in there because of Super Poly. Once again, this is my uh, my answer to mirror matches and to um, Six Sam's because they have a lot of different very uh, element attributes in their deck. Excuse me. Um, I have Prohibition. It doesn't really matter who you play as long as you figure out what the heart of their deck is. You could always ruin that. Um, a third E Heroes Blast. Um, I just like Double Compulse. That's a that's a preference as well, and a Solemn Warning. I mean, a Solemn Judgment. Excuse me. Um, double Effect Veiler. She allows us to utilize the synchros that we have, um, and she's also a light creature, and she just has a really busted effect, pitch to negate, so that messes up a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> limiting limiting. Uh, graves is really good. So DD Crow is another thing for people that target their grave a lot. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much C consecrated light. That's my black wing answer, or anyone else that's playing a dark deck. And double MST. So that's the deck in its entirety. Super hot tech right there. Walk draft. Uh, that's the deck in its entirety. Uh, please comment. Uh, like, dislike, put up your comments and let us know what you think. And uh, there will be other videos to follow. Thank you for watching. Sayonara.